Hello everyone. This chapter is going to talk about environmental policy and sustainability. <clears throat> Just a couple of definitions here. Envirom uh, policy, you know, what it is, and <clears throat> how we have taken for granted that um, we do have laws in effect that protect our water and our air but you know how how did those come about what what drives policy making and how people are a powerful force this is what what um, encompasses um, creating a policy. This could be a, just a basic city policy or it could be a state policy or it could be a national policy. Um, see, the, the residents are protesting uh, pollution from a power plant. So basically they somewhat solve their problem through the scientific method. They, they identify a problem, they develop proposals about, you know, what they could do to, you know, stop this, this pollution from affecting their city. And um, <clears throat> that would be the hypothesis. And then they create rules and they implement, would there be, um, experimental and um, data and then they you know evaluate that would be their conclusion they're evaluating their 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 policy and then they redo it re rewrite it and and then they go about correcting their policy so it's kind of like the scientific method in our in our problem solving so um, of course, uh, support is always needed when you want to um, get into the policy making. You need to, to have, have support of the citizens. Then you need to get support of your, your city or county commissioners. And, you know, all of this, it, it then goes up to the senators and so forth. <clears throat> Okay, then the government, you know, has to approve it, and then you can put it to a vote. And then there are some cost-benefit analysis that are done. And then, you know, some major environmental laws are created. I think you can um, read through this in your book and get more information from this. Our NEPA, National <clears throat> EPA. Um, most people know the EPA, Environmental Protection Agency, but this is the National Environmental Policy Act. <laughs> okay, so there are different things there. So, all of these policies require uh, impact statements. So, um, how would this, how would this dam, for instance, impact this this environment? How is this going to impact the fish, the um, the other organisms, the plants, and other or other animals that live and need this uh, this area before this this uh, dam was built. You know what is what's going to be affected. And an environmental impact statement. Okay. <clears throat> Here's another one: the Clean Air Act regulates um, emissions. Well. I think they um, need to require some of these 
polluters to um, clean up their act. <laughs> we have a lot of uh, factories and things that have um, extensions on their policies of, of cleaning up their their smokestacks and I think we need to buckle down because we do have our global warming going on here. <clears throat> our Clean Water Act, and this is very important however the um, certain petroleum companies are now searching for basically leftover fuel and petroleum in um, by using a a method called fracking and this is that they force water down into the these cracks and crevices and that pushes the these petroleum products up to to where the um, these companies these oil drill companies can reach the the petroleum products and they can suck it out but what happens if these um, methods actually put petroleum in our drinking water and a lot of people have wells in these areas and a lot of companies are um, just not even considering polluting people's well water so the attitude is well we'll we'll try to fix it when it happens well you, that's not a good idea so the endangered species act the, this is has protected many species that have become endangered because of habitat destruction or other things that that have happened mainly human humans are the cause but we see that um, we, everything needs to be protected. Our environment is very, very, um, the environment is <clears throat> the only one we have and we have to protect it. There are a lot of resources that we, we really need to um, be careful how we, we uh, manage them. We have Superfund sites now that we have to uh, dig up companies that have buried their hazardous waste. This is a big problem. <clears throat> and this next section talks about how policies are made and what kind of um, governmental branches <clears throat> make these policies. Here are some of the U.S. laws, but these are U.S. laws. doesn't mean that they are, you know, worldwide, and environmental problems are worldwide. Criminal law, there's environmental law. This is, you know, if you're thinking about being a lawyer, you might want to go into environmental law. What happens when people break the environmental laws? <clears throat> Um, we have to try to work with other countries to to help uh, help conserve the environment, and so <clears throat> we get together and we discuss things, and hopefully, you know, other countries agree with us that that. We need to save these resources, these valuable resources, and manage them properly. Sometimes getting um, nations to adhere to environmental conservation, we might have to embarrass them to do that, but somebody's got to protect the environment. Uh, this is what Japan does with um, the tuna is is horrible and it's they're exploiting the tuna and this is another one of our fish industries that w is going to tank if if countries that exploit them exploit the tuna do not stop we just may not see tuna in our future 
what can we do? Well, all we can do is what we can do. You know, you, you either become an environmentalist or you, or you donate to <clears throat> environmental, environmental groups that actually go out and help. Uh, some simple things you can do. So this is just an overview of a few things you can do. As a single person, get your family involved. Go out and become aware of your natural environment. Participate in bird counts. I've done several of those. How much do we really need? You can try to be green by uh, stop stop using those uh, plastic bags and <clears throat> reduce your footprint. Help on a uh, cleanup or a uh, planting. Go out and help the community. Student coalition. You can go online and check out and see if there's a student group at our at our college. We have the biology group that gets together and helps to do a few uh, events to help clean up the environment. How can colleges be more green? Well, we can um, do a lot around here. <laughs> um, <clears throat> here are some of the groups that uh, our environmental that help to help conservation. A lot of these groups purchase uh, big stands of land that are deemed environmentally uh, biodiverse and hopefully they will be around for many generations. If you see something going on, organize a um, Protest. We're allowed to do that. We're Americans. <clears throat> Internationally, there are events going on. You might want to become involved. Our common future. Sustainable development. See, this has been around a while. You just need to act on it. Here are some concerns. Hunger, ending hunger, <clears throat> ending poverty, supporting environmental sustainability. Pretty good chapter. Should get a lot out of this one. Have a good day.